You have a LinkedIn account, you randomly post on it and accept new connections, but you often wonder if there's more you can do to use LinkedIn effectively. Today, I will share some tips on how to rock your LinkedIn profile. These tips were curated with the help of Jenny Hauser from the EI District. If you are interested in learning how to build community and develop a brand on social media, make sure to follow her. Hi everyone, it's Dr. A. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Coffee with Dr. A. If you are new here, I'm an economist at Northern Kentucky University. I help mentor students as they navigate the job search process. Uh, over the years, I've learned that most students and professionals underinvest in uh, telling the world what they actually do. So today, I'm going to share with you five ways to rock your LinkedIn profile to add value to your personal brand, social capital, and networks, and to allow key decision makers, uh, employers that is, and recruiters to notice your profile. So grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about how to use LinkedIn better. LinkedIn is the largest business-oriented networking website geared specifically towards professionals. It has over 660 million members in over 200 countries, 30 million plus firms, 20 million plus jobs, and over 90,000 schools. LinkedIn is a great way to build your professional network. Unfortunately, most underutilize the platform, and if they learn how to use it, it is after they graduate from college. The tips I share are easy to implement and will help you use this platform effectively. If you're still a student, then the goal is for you to build your personal brand early and leverage your networks as you approach graduation. If you've already graduated and have been working, it's not too late. You can get started today. Tip number one and the most important tip, share your expertise with the world. You're probably thinking, I'm not an expert. I'm still in school or I just graduated, or worse, you believe that the audience knows more than you. This is a common fear and it is rampant in academia. Imposter syndrome keeps people from expressing themselves. I, I fell victim to it for years and sometimes still do so. To fight imposter syndrome, it is important to change your mindset. Think everyone is an expert in their own journey. Share your personal learning journey. When starting out, think about how to share your story. What are you doing? What are you learning? And also share your goals. LinkedIn is a good place for others to help you too. So by sharing your goals, you allow others to help. If you want to see a good example of how we help students tell their story, search for the hashtag, the econ games on LinkedIn. You will see a display of data visualizations from participants in the 2021 econ games challenges. Tip number two, make sure your profile tells a story. Add a photo. When profiles have a photo, they gain nine times more connection requests, 21 more times profile views, and it feels more natural to connect with a person you can see. Who are you? What are you interested in? Can I tell what industry you work in or interested in by visiting your profile? If not, spend time filling out that information. Things to consider when completing your profile. You want your overall personality to come across. In addition to jobs, consider volunteer work, class projects that you can share, images of experience you have had recently. Awards, both academic and social organizations, add value. Finally, extracurricular activities or Greek organizations are also important to document on LinkedIn. Tip number three, building a community takes time, so be consistent. Building trust and community does not happen overnight. It requires you to consistently post on LinkedIn. In addition to sharing your own story, share links to articles in your industry or your major of study, articles that you find interesting. When starting out, it could be intimidating, so start off by sharing the link. Then slowly progress to adding a sentence to reflect your thoughts on the article. Finally, you can reach the highest level of engagement by asking your connections a question based on the article. A call to action allows you, allows you and your connections to jump in and share thoughts, 
in the comments section. Tip number four, add value to your community. At this point, you're effectively sharing your story. It's a great way to exhibit your knowledge and position on topics related to your industry. Next, you want to move on to starting conversation with key people in key organizations. Make sure that you connect with people that you will be motivated to take the time to engage with, to react to their post, to add value to their comment section of their post. Be genuine about it. Don't engage just to make a comment. Think about how to add value. Tip number five, use LinkedIn as a search tool. Social media is designed to connect us. LinkedIn is designed to connect us professionally. One way that we can utilize LinkedIn better is through the search tool to develop better connections. For instance, if you're applying at a company, you are relying on the job description and the application process to get your information about the company and its culture. If you're submitting a cover letter, which you should, then your cover letter will be generic. Try this next time. Before you apply, search for the company name. Here's an example of what I see when I search for Procter & Gamble. These are the list of people that I know that currently work there. I can expand this to provide me with list of second level connections. Those are connections of connections. I can reach out to my network, tell them I'm applying there. Ask if they have advice, if they know the division in which I'm applying for, and if they would be willing to pass my application to the hiring manager. This approach will change your application from a generic application submitted online to a personal recommendation, which will increase the likelihood that you are considered. However, this means your LinkedIn profile has to be the, in the best shape with all the fields filled out and it must communicate trust. Also, make sure to include the industry you are in on your profile or the one you're interested in. There are more than 300,000 users searching by industry on LinkedIn every week. Just like you can research companies, interviewers, and recruiters, they can research you. Make sure your summary reflects what you want them to think about you. Focus on career accomplishments, education, and aspirations. What should I know about you in 30 seconds that I should remember? I said five tips. I'm going to add a sixth tip. And the sixth tip is to protect yourself. A word of caution, not all engagement is positive engagement. We all have a follower or connection that finds things to complain about, to criticize, or that would tell you that you are doing too much. We all have those connections. Don't listen to them. Learn to identify which voices to listen to. I work with students to help them better express what they work on on social media. We call it telling your story. If you followed the Econ Games assignments this year, you will notice the emphasis on showing your work. Our goal is to break the idea that social media posts need to include perfect work. There's no such thing as perfect. Just keep on moving forward. A well-written LinkedIn profile allows you to connect with an online professional community which can help you open doors, opportunities, and networks that you may not have been aware of without the help of social media. While the focus here is on LinkedIn, all other platforms, Twitter, Instagram specifically, can be leveraged as well, but in different ways. Maybe I'll create an episode on those platforms uh, if you're interested. Leave a comment and encourage me to create an episode. Also, if we're not connected yet, make sure to connect with me on LinkedIn. Better yet, write a post, link this video, and tell your audience about the tip that most resonated with you. If you tag me, I'll stop by and leave a comment. The benefits are, of LinkedIn are almost endless. Find your voice and proudly tell your story. It can be uncomfortable at first, but the sooner you get started, the larger your networks of connections will grow.